The South African Medical Association Trade Union, Samatsu, says at least 225 post-community service doctors face unemployment in January. The union has criticized the National Health Department, accusing it of failing to absorb medical professionals despite understaffing at the country's health facilities. The union said that many of its members had been told that the provincial health departments had no money to hire them after their community service training. And we have Dr. Cedric Shilangu, Secretary General of Samatu, joining me now from Johannesburg, South Africa. Uh, Dr. Shilangu, let's look at what we're, what we're dealing with right now in South Africa. There's quite a large number of doctors who are facing unemployment come January 2023. So take us through why this is happening. Good afternoon and uh, thank you for, for having us as the South African Medical Association Trade Union. We are the biggest trade union of doctors in the country and represent uh, doctors uh, in all provinces. Now, um, as you correctly have put it in your preamble, that um, in fact the number is uh, now over 400 doctors who are currently in their community service year, who will be uh, independent medical practitioners as of uh, January 2023, who unfortunately will not have employment. Um, and this is as a result of uh, numerous departments uh, within the nine provinces alleging that uh, there have been significant uh, budget cuts uh, secondary to austerity measures that are being uh, implemented throughout uh, various departments by Treasury. And as a result, uh, the coffers are depleted and there will be no money to absorb these, uh, these uh, doctors. It's obviously very, very concerning for us and that's the situation that these doctors are finding themselves in. It would seem very easy to sort of look at the equation. There's a shortage of doctors in healthcare facilities. There are, as you're saying now, about 400 medical doctors who are not going to have employment in January. It seems, okay, just employ the doctors that are available now into the shortage. But government doesn't seem to be placing these doctors. Are we getting any reasoning, any explanation from government as to why there's a difficulty in plugging the gap? Well, so, you know, sometimes they say that uh, common sense is not so common. Um, and the reason for that is um, you and I as ordinary uh, you know, uh, persons would think that that's the natural way of addressing a problem and whether such a problem would arise. But that doesn't seem to be the case in South Africa at the moment. In fact, our healthcare system is in a crisis. Um, you find that in an institution, in a hospital, there might be two to three maximum doctors working, covering the day shift and the night shift um, you know, uh, for the entire month. What that means is you've got significant queues of our grandmothers who come to these facilities to you know, seek health care. And they will be stuck in queues just to see a nurse or a doctor for about five to six hours. Now, naturally, in a, in a dire situation such as this one, you'd anticipate that a department or a government would um, scale up the production of doctors and employ them in the facilities, but that doesn't seem to be happening. So that's really the 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 the, the, the um, surprising element about this whole thing. That even though there is an argument that uh, the the resources are depleted, one would anticipate that a responsive government would prioritize and reprioritize if needs be to ensure that the allocation of resources is there for the doctors to be employed. Because healthcare in this country is uh, you know a fundamental human right, and you'd expect that the government would be responsive. And so when you talk about government being responsive, it appears there's been some sort of double responses or double speak, rather, uh, from government in terms of creating adequate employment, especially for healthcare uh, personnel. When you look at the statements coming from different sides of government or different representatives and which are saying different things, what do you make of that? It's the, it's the, the usual rhetoric um, when, you, when you reach out to government, especially as a media house, uh, they are almost obliged to give you some response. And the natural response is to make promises, to say things that they know uh, they don't um, uh, you know, see through. Uh, in the current um, uh, you know, eventuality as things are unfolding, the department has come out at a national platform to commit that um, it would, working with Samatu, which is uh, us, the union, uh, ensure that the list that we've consolidated of 400 plus doctors would be, um, it, it, the department would be uh, pushing and uh, uh, engaging all other provincial departments to ensure that these doctors get placed 
within the next two weeks. Mm. So we are closely monitoring that um, to ensure that come uh, next year, January, these doctors are indeed placed. But we have we have recently, as recent as uh, two days ago, had uh, the department coming out to say that they will be working with the union to ensure that these doctors get uh, a firm offer in employment. Um, so, Dr. Cedric, before I let you go, let's look at a worst-case scenario in a situation where South Africa is training doctors but is unable to place them or get them employment. Could you also anticipate possibly having a medical professional's exodus? Something like, I'm very sure you're aware of, we've seen here in Nigeria. What's the worst-case scenario in this situation? Look, um, it, it's something that is not only anticipated, it's something that is happening at the moment. Um, we're seeing a lot of our doctors because they're very well trained and uh, the world at large uh, really appreciates South African doctors. So we do see quite a number of uh, South African doctors and South African trained doctors uh, moving to uh, the global West uh, for, for better opportunity, for better employment. And uh, we can't blame them when we as a, as a country are failing to, to employ them. So naturally, uh, people have got families, they've got mouths to feed, so they'll, they'll go abroad and try and... Um, and uh, and fend for their families. All right, Dr. Cedric Chilangu, thank you so much for joining me from Johannesburg, South Africa, a Secretary General of Samatu. We'll keep an eye on this uh, conversation as it develops.